Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. As you can see, I'm in a slightly different setting today. We've moved house today and been extremely busy. So we're going to do an update on Bitcoin, Dogecoin after Elon Musk tweets about it again. And of course, our favorite Cardano, ADA, has hit $2 and is still looking like it's got more left in the tank. Now, if the audio sounds a little bit off, I've got to get a few more uh, bits of audio equipment in here. So apologies about that if it sounds a little bit crazy or echoey. All right, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Let's dive into it. As I said, we're going to cover Doge today because there's some tweets, some trolling from Elon Musk. We're going to look at Cardano as well because that's just hit $2. Look at the tweet from Charles Hoskinson about the ecosystem. And let's start off with Ethereum. It's getting very close to getting at least halfway to Bitcoin's market cap. We're at 48.3% here. And to get to the 50% it needs to get to 0 0.08 of a Bitcoin. Market caps are at 2.3 trillion. So even though we've seen that pretty heavy correction from, from Bitcoin, getting as low as $45,700, we are still well and truly up there on the overall market cap. Now Bitcoin's at 942 billion, Ethereum 455 and Doge 68 with Cardano at 60, just getting very close to hopefully flipping Dogecoin. But uh, either way, if you're invested in them and you're making money, congratulations. Cardano, 13% up on the day and 27% for Dogecoin. Let's look at the dominance now. BTC dominance is having a very hard time. We are, we could call it an altcoin season, especially as the dominance continues to fall and we see cryptocurrencies increase in value. What I've been talking about over the last few days, especially with the Bitcoin dive is consolidating into stronger projects. I believe these are the, going to be the projects that are going to take off first. We are, well, we have seen that in Ethereum. We've seen it in Cardano. We're looking at other projects like Matic has also had a fantastic day that is up. So looking at the overall market space, especially with the altcoin, uh, altcoins increasing in value and the Bitcoin dominance falling, it looks like more money is going into the major caps in order for this dominance to decrease. More of the money has to go into the bigger projects for the dominance to show this sort of fall. That's essentially why I think, well, I like the play of consolidating into bigger projects rather than speculating on some of the, oh, the, the meme coins or some of the other lower market caps for now. For now, they will have their time again. Um, lastly, on the market caps, I just want to round it off with Litecoin still sitting down at 12. Chainlink, 19 billion. It's had a pretty good run, but just cooling off. And Stellar. Stellar was one that I looked at for a breakout. We're going to check it on the BTC chart and also YFI. So that's the dominance. Let's look at BTC and our levels are still intact. I, I've been calling for 60,500 as the bullish momentum indicator. We failed multiple times to get there and the market reacted very strongly for this current period. So this is still holding up very well. Our Wyckoff theory date or our Wyckoff theory accumulation zone and market sentiment change, I should say, big volume. We haven't cleared that bar yet. That's what we're waiting for. It's just uh, going to continue to track that not sure if this is the major low yet, but it might be an intermediate low, especially with some good volume coming in and the closes are getting slightly higher. So I suspect we're going to bounce back to around 53, maybe 52 and a half to test these lows. That's where we're going next. We've got to test them. Going to be around that 52 or to 53K, something around there. If we fail, then I think obviously we're going to head back down because there's just not enough buying pressure. That's why I'm reading those markets. Dogecoin, let's have a look at this on the chart. Also look at our Dogecoin tweet from Elon Musk. He's saying, working with Doge devs to improve system transaction efficiency, potentially promising. These, uh, the, the retweets, the likes, these are all going nuts. As I'm looking at this over the last few seconds, they're even changing over from the hundreds, if not thousands of retweets. Market cap of Doge from TradingView says uh, they've said that it's gone up $10 billion on the market cap, which is very significant from a single post. Now, I just posted about uh, the tweets from one man. If you can move a $2 trillion market, then we're most likely still in the early stages of the market's growth. Mass adoption, it's coming. It might not come, but I have a feeling that it will. Crypto, Bitcoin, that's where I'm seeing it heading. If one person can make this impact on the market, then 
I definitely don't think there is enough money in the market to say that we are very late in the game. So that's the way I'm reading it. Can be completely wrong, but it does seem quite that way. Now let's look at the Doge chart. We're at 51 cents. We have spiked out to 59 cents today. Uh, the level here is 45 cents. We need that 45 cents to hold in the short term. Otherwise, I would see us testing the 30s levels again around that 35, 36 level. Um, anywhere in the 30s really because we did spike down into 33 cents, came back above and closed at 49. So quite a big day yesterday. Very, very volatile for Dogecoin. I would love to see more volume come into this like we saw here. If it doesn't happen, I suspect we'll probably go a little lower on Doge, but we'll play this one day by day because it's extremely crazy. Uh, next on the list was ADA, two bucks. Man, Gojin is going to be crazy, says Charles on Twitter. Huge ecosystem happening here. Would be lovely to get smart contracts and all of these projects just coming on board and then growing the ecosystem so that we can see our $2 ADA go to 10 bucks, all right? There was a little confusion the other day. No, I don't think Cardano is going to $100 just yet or if ever, who knows, but I definitely don't think it's gonna happen now. Looking at it uh, at around two bucks now, I think we'll probably get between that five and 10 bucks, but let's let's keep tracking it. I'm just being very conservative of that figure. Uh, ADA USD is $1.86. I posted the video on the 5th of May, the one that you guys loved, saying this is probably the last chances of a $1 ADA, and about seven or eight days later, we hit two bucks. Huge volume, nice, good close. See the close is way up here, the highest close ever. So it's this all time high close above the previous top. That's what you wanna see for a strong move up. If this fails, that's a very big signal for the opposite direction. So fingers crossed it doesn't happen. We've got the volume, we've got the all time high breakout, we've got the high ranging bar on strong volume, strong power to the upside, strong close above the old highs as well nice swings, nice uh, push outs, recoveries, retests, all of the checklist is playing out here to give us strength, uh, to see strength here and not get shaken out of a position if we see it retrace three, five, 10%. That's what I'm looking for here with ADA. Now it's had a little bit of a hit on LTC today, a little bit of a hit on DOT, but it's still up at near all time highs. I'm not counting the spike here, but we're getting to those all time highs against DOT. It's improving against Solana, and ADA against ETH is also having a little bit of a comeback. I wouldn't say we're out of it yet, but that volume yesterday looks really, really good. So ADA is looking very strong. Now, the last couple I wanted to have a look at was uh, Matic, because we've had a big day here, very, very big day. Look at Matic, as I'm recording this, it is screaming to new all-time highs. Uh, it's hitting all time highs as we as we speak, $1.28, we're sitting at $1.27.9, $1.28. Look at that, okay, so Matic is, is actually quite strong at the moment, big volume. See, see these signals here, like we just looked at on Cardano, you can use it across any market. Uh, cryptos, stock market, whatever it is you're trading with a chart that has history, look out for these signals. Big volume, we broke out high bars, high close, it continued, which is what you want to see. We had a small retracement. Look what happened to the volume as the market was going down. Volume drops, which means there are not that many sellers in the market, probably just some profit takers, that's it. And then we took off again on more volume, not as high as this push, so I don't suspect we'll, we'll get that much higher, but overall it looks strong. It could just surprise us and whip out another massive volume day, uh, especially after this being the biggest volume, a reversal, and then the following days it went up, which is very different to what we normally see in the market. This just means that there was a lot of trading activity on the day, and the market still saw strong buying opportunities in the market, especially after uh, a lower close in the next few days went up. So Matic is looking very strong as well. Something just to keep on the radar in case we get a uh, reasonable pullback and the pattern looks nice. Now the other couple were YFI, just to have a quick look. It did spike up and shoot back down. Very, very low supply, which is what happens in this market of YFI. So it's Yuan Finance, one of the DeFi players. It is holding up above old highs, so I'm not concerned. I just know this has wild swings when it gets going. Against the BTC volume, 
this is looking good. We're up there again. That concerns me, high volume, spike out at the top, you know, a nice big wick, but we haven't seen the push down. So I suspect we'll get some accumulation here, consolidation before another move. So Wi-Fi is still looking good for me. Uh, uh, Stella was the next one that I wanted to have a look at. XLM, 70 cents, still playing around these all time highs. I think we'll get there eventually, but it's just taking longer than I would like. Against the BTC chart, we have finally had a breakout. Finally had a breakout of, that is almost one, two, almost three years if I'm not counting incorrectly. So the last time we saw these levels was uh, June 2019, two years, my apologies. Two years we have not seen these levels on XLM. Take note of that. Should this start to really take off, then we're going to see this thing go absolutely nuts because it's had two years of consolidation. So XLM is looking good and I suspect the all-time high will easily get blown away at this point. So the altcoins, some of the major stuff is looking good. Last one I want to have a look at is TVK, uh, one that I cover on the channel a lot. It is having a pretty good move here. We saw a solid low come in and people freaking out about uh, this coin and what's going on in the NFT space. But we've seen a reasonable reversal above the previous low. So that's a promising sign. I still want to see some more consolidation at these levels. But I like this as a dollar cost averaging cryptocurrency, especially in the 30s and 40 cents. It looks pretty good to me. You guys do your own research. I've got an interview on the channel with the CTO. So if you want to know more about TVK and other small NFT uh, gems, altcoins, go and check it out on the channel. Uh, that's all the cryptos I want to look at for today. Cardano looking good. Bitcoin is needing to give us some more signals. Ethereum, we have not looked at that. Here it is, 3,900. It is looking good again. Look at the volume here. Massive, massive volume. Remember what happened last time at $2,000? Massive volume. So personally, that is almost a buy signal for me. I just, I want to see a reasonable close higher. And then I think we're probably going to go absolutely nuts on Ethereum. Not tomorrow, not the next hour, maybe in a few days. I don't know when, but that is the signal for me saying we're going to go up again. That's what I was looking at here, $2,000. I've talked about it multiple times and from that point it doubled. All right. So Ethereum looking very good for me at this point as well. That's the wrap up. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stellar, Doge, Cardano, Matic, TVK, Yearn Finance. Maybe it was seven or eight. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to uh, join us on the free newsletter. Link to that down below. Like the video up if you found some value from it. Subscribe to the channel. Bell notification icon so you can be updated with the technical analysis in the crypto space and all of the crypto news. Thank you once again. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.